Welcome back, and today I want to show you guys the plugin that I like to use uh, the most when it comes to UI in Roblox Studio. Alright, so real quick, I want to talk about our new unlimited access pack on gfxcomment.com. So if you go over here, you just want to click this button, unlimited access, right here, and as you can see, this is a one-time payment that will allow you to access every single item on the store every single new product that we add in the future completely for free at some point we're gonna have hundreds of templates available and you will have access to every single one so yeah enough talking let's get back into the video anyways back to the video i'm gonna go into plugins right here and here you see something called ui tools right here i'm going to open my plugins uh management tab right here and here it is ui tools by zilly bobby <laughs> this is personally what i like to use and let's open it up and you can see tools presets right here scale size scale position top left top top right ui aspect ratio ui scale ui text size ui size and if you hover over it a tooltip will appear that explains what each button is responsible for. So let me give you guys an example of how you would use this. Let's add a new screen UI and we're going to add a frame. And I always like to, the first frame I always use uh, to build my UI, I like to make this the canvas. So I'm going to hit center to, uh, this will change the anchor point right here to 0.5. For both the x and y and now i'm gonna hit fit parent so this covers the whole screen and now i can hit remove border transparent background and if you hit fast scale this will change the both the position and the size this is already scaled but i'm gonna hit fast scale this will also add a ui aspect ratio constraint so the reason why i like to um, use a canvas is this will basically control the whole UI. So, for example, if you make something here, right, you could use Canvas uh, and turn this visibility off, and this UI, this frame, will not appear anymore. Let's make a new frame. I'm gonna hit center, and this will be the main. Let's just make a nice little button. size make a let's make a nice little frame actually I have an idea um, let's go at a corner 0.2 offset 0 0.1.125 or right, if you take a look here we are still using offset which is not a bad thing uh, I'm gonna keep using this for now until I have created an adequate amount of uh, elements that I want. I'm gonna add a new frame, and this will be our button. Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste the corner. Make this point fifteen point two point fifteen point fifteen is fine. I'm gonna add a. I'm gonna add a UI gradient. And for this, and let's choose some pleasing colors. All right. Boom. There we go. Uh, I actually want to rotate this 180. That looks better. Okay. Point two. Let's go actual resolution so we can see up close. Okay. So this button. Let's hit center. Make sure the anchor point is 0.5. 5 and drag this we add a not a texture but a text label transparent text scaled and we're gonna go with text color text color white and change the font obviously let's go for this font and this will be claim This will be claim. Okay, that looks good. 
Um, I think this could also be a grading. This actually looks really good uh, with the white. <laughs> but let's go back to the um, dark theme for now. So let's just try a very dark gray. Alright, I'm actually... It's actually not terrible. Um, okay. Alright, there we go. That looks pretty good. Let's copy the text label right here. We're gonna show rewards available. And the content, we'll just go here. So basically, let's check the scaling. If we change the device, you can see. So I'm gonna go fast scale and turn this into. So we're gonna go fast scale for all these and let's take the button. I'm also gonna use this plugin called Reclass convert to make this an image button. I actually want to move this text to the to right here, where is available. And I guess I'm just going to do something random, a million dollars. <laughs> actually I think this should not be green. But if we take a look at plugins, there are a bunch here. There is interface tools by um, Five Factor. You can really use anything you want. Um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you guys next time.